and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on hyperemesis gravidarum. Hyperemesis gravidarum is defined as a persistent pregnancy-related vomiting which occurs before 20 weeks of pregnancy. It is associated with weight loss more than 5% of the body mass and also ketosis. And it usually resolves around the second trimester. The causes of hyperemesis gravidarum are multifactorial and it includes factors such as endocrine, gastrointestinal tract factors and also psychological factors. It is also associated with high levels of serum human chorionic gonadotropin, the HCG, high levels of estrogen and also thyroxine. And this hyperemesis gravidarum is seen in cases such as multiple pregnancy, Hydatidiform more, transient abnormalities in thyroid function, gastric ulcer, and especially women who have history of hyperhemesis in previous pregnancy. These are the investigations that we can do. Blood investigations like full blood count, look for raise in hemoglobin in polycythemia due to loss of body fluid, and also raise in hematocrit due to dehydration. Renal profile, which includes the serum electrolytes, urea and creatinine, look for electrolyte imbalance such as hypo or hyperkalemia, hyponatremia and also hypochloremia due to excessive vomiting. If in dehydration cases, the urea will be raised as well. Also check the serum calcium to look for hypercalcemia and arterial blood gas analysis in severe dehydration to look for metabolic alkalosis or metabolic acidosis in cases of sepsis. Other tests such as thyroid function tests look for evidence of mild hyperthyroidism, for example in cases of gestational transient thyrotoxicosis. This hyperthyroidism can cause hyperperistalsis in the GIT, causing outlet dysfunction and leading to vomiting. Another test is liver function test, look for elevated liver transaminase, amylase and also lipase to rule out hepatitis and pancreatitis, which could be causing the vomiting as well. Urine investigations such as urine dipstick check for ketonuria and also look for signs of urinary tract infection like raised leukocyte and raised nitrates. If positive, we have to proceed with urine full examination and microscopic examination and also culture and sensitivity to look for the source of infection. Radiological investigations like transabdominal ultrasound can be done to rule out differential diagnosis such as molar pregnancy, multiple pregnancy, and also to confirm the fetal viability and to rule out ovarian cysts. For management, determine whether the patient will require inpatient management, where we need to admit them into the ward in these cases, such as continuous nausea and vomiting and unable to tolerate the oral antiemetics, or associated with ketones in the urine, ketonuria, and or the weight loss is too much, which is greater than 5% of the original body weight, and if confirmed of suspected comorbidity such as urinary tract infection. These are the patients that we have to admit into the ward and monitor. So we assess the hydration status of the patient, manage the nausea and vomiting by giving antiemetics, find out the underlying cause and treat the underlying cause, and also manage the complications such as electrolyte imbalance. So these are some of the treatment that we can give. Initial treatment is non-pharmacological intervention. You can switch prenatal vitamins to folic acid, ginger supplementation, apply acupressure wristbands. And some of the pharmacological treatment are, for example, combination of vitamin B6 and doxylamine, and also antihistamine or dopamine antagonists. These are some of the antiemetics, the first line, second line, and third line therapies. So the complications of hyperemesis gravidarum can be divided into maternal and fetal complications. Maternal complications such as malnutrition or vitamin B12 deficiency, dehydration due to excessive vomiting, causing electrolyte abnormalities, and also esophageal rupture and pneumothorax. Whereas fetal complications might be low birth weight and they might be premature birth as well. That's all for this video. Thank you.